Hello Sadie, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. A fiery climax approaches, full moon in Aries, whoa. <laughs> Passion is uh, intense at the moment. Hmm. Um, so you may be dealing with um, an Aries. So we're getting to the kind of crescendo of something here. Wow, interesting. Your commitment is being tested. First quarter moon. So, you know, I've been getting this. Oh, there's two cards stuck here, actually. Um, oh my God, wow. What an amazing two messages there, back to back. Um, your commitment is being tested. Your hard work is paying off. So I was just going to say, you know how I've been getting this message? Um, I'd say the last week or so, definitely, um, in my readings, about Divine Feminine's kind of losing hope, um, you know, with your connection. And, um, yeah, it's almost like you, you're sort of being tested, like, not your commitment to the person, but... Um, you know, it's like your faith is being tested a little bit. Fear not, though, your hard work is paying off. So, yeah, you may be going through this time of just feeling like all hope is lost. Um, yeah, like I said, just to re-emphasize, re it's not to do with your commitment to, like, the twin flame kind of spiritual journey or your person. I just feel like this is you know your trust your kind of faith like in this is being tested you know and so yeah i just feel a lot of divine feminines here have been feeling like um is this really gonna happen i'm not seeing any changes etc but hard work's uh paying off here so we've got aries and capricorn so far might mean something to you guys um don't you know you don't really need to pay attention to the signs too much but a lot of people like to know just just for extra kind of confirmation for some people but yeah fiery climax approaches i just feel like this is you know a lot of passion um coming back into this connection and it's kind of like the fire like you know the fire is lit reignited here so rather than this energy of you know, darkness, lack of movement, kind of um, feeling quite despondent. It's like something coming back in to reignite your, um, like, passion, reignite your energy in this connection. You know, something just coming back to make you feel like you got more trust in this situation, you know? Um, I think loves um we're going to let's get some twin flame tarot i'm just looking at my selection of uh cards i've got out here yeah i've got a few different oracles i want to use some goddess power cards as well for my divine feminines i just feel like it's important to kind of get you guys like what's the word like to kind of um G you up a bit, you know? <laughs> Get your confidence in this back a wee bit. I've also got some universe uh, has your back cards too. Again, I just feel like that's important. I just feel it's an important message, message there um, for some of you um, about how, you know, the universe works in mysterious ways. So let's get on with these twin flame messages from Divine Masculine. By the way, that Capricorn card here, um, that could also be to do with your work as well, like your actual career, hard work, paying off in that, guys, too. You still take my breath away. Of course you do. Of course you do. They still think you are absolutely stunning. Whoa, okay, too many messages. So do my masculines here have a lot to get off their chest? That's the thing. I mean, it really is kind of, you actually physically take this person's breath away. You know, that <gasps> get nervous around you as well. Oh, yeah. 
There are still so many unsaid things between us. I told you guys, it bothers them as well, not just you. Even though it's it's the divine masculines that tend to kind of um, try and control communication, you know. They, um, you know, part of their lesson is to learn to, to let go of control issues like that. But, you know, they kind of go into their hermit mode when they get overwhelmed so it tends to be them that kind of holds back with communication but it does bother them as well um and i, I feel that's why we're getting this kind of fiery climax here approaching um you know i was saying too that it just feels like something is going to happen between the two of you or a conversation's had or something here which just ignites your kind of faith back into this person. Songs are speaking to me. So, as I've said before, it's like songs for me, like music's, I mean, so important in my life. But what I've kind of noticed, um, and it is to my twin flame too, but um, is a lot of people say that. Um, a lot of twin flames, like music's just so, so important to them. And I just really feel like, the songs are almost kind of an, another like language between twin flames when perhaps there are unsaid things in the 3D, you know, conversations that are not being had. So listen out for songs as well, because you may be hearing messages too, but your Divine Masculine's getting songs that remind them of you, you know. Um, yeah, I just feel that's a really strong connection here. Um, I still remember the good times we shared together, so yeah, kind of doing that whole like reminiscing, nostalgic thinking about you and the songs kind of play into that as well. Um, yeah, I just feel Divine Masculine's here really missing you um, a lot. Um, reminiscing about the good times an awful lot here. I just feel like the more they kind of do that, the more that's prompting them to come forward um, with communication here. And it could be really intense, passionate communication. But I am seeing more, yeah, <laughs> just confirmation again. Um, I've thought about you a lot lately, so they really are. You're really on their mind. Um, but I have seen that more and more in my comments. Um, divine masculines reaching out to their feminines, and you know they're coming away with quite intense things. Uh, one of my viewers was saying, "Our divine masculines calling her um, his wife and things." <laughs> so that's really nice. But yeah, thinking about you an awful lot. Whoa, whoa! Oh my god! Okay. That was such a weird shuffle, and this card, like, I don't know if it caught on camera, it just almost, like, jumped up the way, like that, out of these three. So we're going to take these three. Obviously, this was a really important message. I've also got one that's just sort of, can you see it, guys? Left over here. I don't even know how that happened, but I feel like that's important. It's singled out, so we're going to take that as well. Okay, you feel like home to me. You do you feel like home to this person. You are everything that reminds them of kind of being safe and um, familiar. You know, there's that just unspoken kind of familiarity between the two of you. You know, that, that connection, you know, it's, they want to come home. I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to. Okay, so... That old, that old social media stalking, lurking, um, because look how much this person's been thinking about you. So they're doing the whole kind of social media um, stalking there. I can't seem to find the right words to say to you. What's this one? I got spooked. So definitely this, um, I would say no communication really going on here. Maybe a little bit, but um, I would say kind of non-communication. Um, we'll see what we get out with the tarot and things as well, but I just feel that's going to be changing, and that's what this kind of mm, this climax is about. 
be careful some of it could be a little bit of arguments but to me it feels more passion than kind of anger um let's see what we get yeah let's let's just see tarot illuminati so we've got we do my masculine here pisces energy um the hangman and king of cups so the the he's the king of love you know sort of kept himself stuck here in this limbo of not knowing the right words to say you know and holding back on expressing their love so the king of cups does quite a lot it kind of keeps that bottles up inside just know that the love is so strongly there that's probably a lot to do with why it feels like your you know your commitment's being tested right now because you're just not feeling like you're getting anything from your person sometimes. Um, I kind of really like the Hangman card though, because it is also about looking at things from a different perspective. You know, it's like you were this way up, hanging upside down, looking at things differently and getting that illumination, that enlightenment, that awakening there. So although things may not be moving, in the 3D yet. I just feel like there's, you know, an even this word approach is like they're going to be approaching you. Because they can't get you off their mind for one thing. There's only so long I would say to people that someone can keep constantly thinking about you before they actually finally do take action. You know? So that's what's really been going on, it feels uh divine masculine. Keeping themselves stuck from moving forward. I feel like there was a card I was searching from there, um, for there. I'm tripping all over my words today with this. <laughs> There's a, like a lot of kind of nervous energy here um, because you know, I mean, they're worried about what to what to say to you. You know. Um, okay, let's get some more cards. I feel like I had something else to say, but. It'll maybe come back to me. But yeah, the commu lack of communication really bothers them as well. <laughs> the lovers, Gemini, energy. They want to come home to their lover, to you, you know, to their true counterpart here. And how appropriate, you know, this is a twin flame card coming out for this 11-11 reading today they want to return home and by the way just to re-emphasize we are listening to queen diane here before we get this uh, next king of pentacles card because someone has been stealing my audio and passing it off as their own content and making profit off of my content. So just to re-emphasize, you're watching Queen Diane here. So well, yeah, who knows what they'll do with that audio. Right, King of Pentacles here. The hobby material, someone who's committed, stable, you know, strong, like grounded here. King of Cups and King of Pentacles. Hmm. They're probably two of the best <laughs> kings to get, really. For so, you know, for in terms of being you know, in terms of like commitment, you know, the love and commitments here. You know, King of, King of Wands can be, he's King of Passion, but can be a little bit um, flighty at times, you know. So, I'm yeah, I'm liking this combination here. Um, good to see Divine Masculines really kind of getting into their King energy as well. Hmm. I mean, just look at the way, I'm not even sure if this is like this in the t uh, Rider way this King of Pentacles, but he's really trying to offer something here, like a solid offer is coming forward. 
from divine masculine to you, to their true counterpart. And it makes me sad when I see that, you know, I can't find the right words to say to you. And so they end up saying nothing happens so often in these connections. And I know people get so frustrated, like, just say something, just say sorry. But I just, it's the way divine masculines seem to be, you know, they can't. Hermit, yeah, hermit energy here. Um, could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, so... There could, there could have been some ghosting that's gone on between the two of you. Um, this person has really kind of cut themselves off from you and the world. You know, the hermit and the hangman. Kind of taking themselves away from everything. It's a lot about learning about themselves as well and, and looking within, being introspective, seeing what things they need to clear out. It's Aquarius energy for me as well as a reader uh, with this, the star and the lantern here. Um, so, hmm, you know, I just feel, okay, this may be the energy that's been going on, you know, and it does feel a bit kind of frosty between the two of you, a bit cold, like not a lot of communication, maybe none, you know, but this person is being guided home, you know, they, they already know in their headspace you feel like home to them and it's like they're guided to your light guided home um so you know they got spooked and that's why they kind of went into that um energy that hermit mode but slowly but surely being guided home you know and guided in the right direction oh whoa almost dropped all my cards guys and that's kind of weird the way that felt because like the, the towers here we have caught that you know sudden change a shake up of this connection so it just feels like you, you may be feeling like well there's no movement they're not even talking to me, you know, um, but you're on this person's mind so, so much, constantly. And you're kind of, the, the, it's like they're doing a lot of um, changes and kind of planning like behind the scenes here. So you're not seeing it. So you're just, you know, being tested here. But it's like your hard work is being, is paying off. So the hard work, inner work that you've done is paying off because then your person's doing this hard like inner work okay so yeah the tower here sudden whoa i can't even hold on to these cards what's going on with this energy today <laughs> sudden change okay so um yeah it's divine masculine here may have had a lot of tower moments that have kind of led them to this like inner um enlightenment inner knowing of where um where they should be moving to so yeah sudden change um from if it just feels like there's been such a standstill here but you know guided guided to their true counterpart that's all that's just the message i've got here so strong about that Um, let's get some goddess power card. You know, even that tower is on fire, it just kind of leads me back to this first card, this fiery climax approaches, you know, it's like your person approaches. sticking out here look at the way the card's sticking out even that looks fiery we're gonna see this one mm -hmm. isis rebirth almost looks like she's holding a kind of 
like a fire in our hands there. Rebirth, rebirth of the situation that you kind of really thought was, it's like dead, this connection is what it feels like. There's a rebirth coming in for this. Let's get some universe. Universe? Um, oh no, I didn't mean that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> my head. I don't know what's going on. Do you know what it is? I think because I'm tuning in to the Divine Masculines here, there has been like a lot of confusion and not thinking straight and stuff, and it's literally affecting my reading. <laughs> I'm normally pretty like clear with stuff, and, and it's just weird. It's really, really weird. Yeah, it just feels like sudden change, sudden rebirth. Okay, let's get a universe card. Okay, two came out. <clears throat> Ooh. Oneness is my true nature. That's really interesting. I've never seen this one before. Oneness. That to me feels like you know, knowing that you and your person are one, you are one soul, and it's like you being at union with yourself, almost, you know? So you that's what I'm saying, you've done a lot of hard inner work, Divine Feminine. My fearless freedom lights up the world. How, how weird, if you didn't watch my reading from yesterday, it's about, go and check it out, it's about Divine Masculine's seeing you as like the light in their life. It was just a lot of messages about you being this light. You do, you light up the world. Your fearlessness, you know, encourages your person to not be fearful anymore of this. You light up this lantern in this divine masculine. In, in this darkness here, you light up the way forward for this person. Um, so guys, if you like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, let me know in the comments, I'm active.